and welcome back to another video. We are acrylic pouring again today and I was thinking instead of the circular that we did in the last video, I'm thinking of using some hexagonal coasters. Now, in terms of colours, I kind of want to do a bit of a metallic -y mix. I want to do some silver, some copper, some gold, but also add one colour in with that. Now, I'm not sure what colour. I'm potentially thinking a turquoise or teal colour, um, but equally maybe a dark colour like a deep purple or a deep blue might be quite nice. But that is what I'm thinking for this video. Let's just get straight into it. I'm going to mix up the colours and then we'll pour like usual and try something a bit new. I'm going to do flip cups on this one because I just, it's the tried and trusted and you can't really go wrong with it. So that is what we're going to do with this and see where we get up to with that. much i do this every time don't i uh, so just a little square a couple of drops of the silicon oil um, mix those in and we're going to do those flip cups like i said um so i'm hoping we get a we get the kind of metallic look across basically because i just think it'll look really nice now i'm trying to decide whether it's a bit Bit on the thick side still. Let's add some more water to that. Um, I'm trying to decide whether we need some sort of base colour or whether we just go for it. I'm thinking we just go for it. I think the, the blue should act enough as a base colour. If it's not looking how I want it, I can scrape it off the first one and we can decide from there whether we want to add another base colour um, into that. But I don't know if this is just a bit. No, I think it should be okay. Should be okay. Right, okay. So I'm gonna bring you over to this other side. Whoop. Like this. This is where I'm doing the pouring on this side. Move these spatulas out of the way. Let's bring this over so you can see. And then let's situate the four posters on top. Like this and then um Again, I think I'm going to do one at a time like I did in the last video. It just worked out 10 times better and you were able to see what I'm doing. And I'm not panicking every time I shift um, or need to quickly do something. I'm not panicking. So we'll square you up on that. Nice and neat there. Okay, so I'm thinking let's get a cup out like this. So we're going to add the colours to this. Uh, one at a time and then flip it over and let it release and hopefully we get a nice colour. So let's do a base of this deep blue here. A good amount, I think. And then let's go lightest to darkest so that the blue kind of mixes with this silver a little bit. Um, and then onto the, the gold, I think. And then onto the copper. And then I'm going to repeat that once more just so we have enough paint for this coaster now what's going to be difficult is trying to get it to all the edges it's hard enough on a square so let's see whether we can manage to achieve that on this hexagon here i'm not dropping from height this time so that the silicon oil does all the work with the selling i think um, and then i'm going to do a final one of just the blue here like this this is far too much paint but i just want to see what the colors are like properly um, so let's pick this up, flip this round and flip like this and then let's see what it turns out like. Oh, very nice. That blue is very nice. Like, as you can see, I did too much paint, but that's fine. I just wanted to see what it was like. Let's tip off a little bit. I want a little bit more of that copper to come through here. So as you can see, it's already selled. There's a lot of silicon oil in there. I added more than usual just so that we could see what it was like. Right, I'm going to just wipe my hands off and then we are going to torch this and see what the result is. But so far, I really like this and I'm hoping that metallic, once it dries, it really shows up. 
Um, so let's give this a quick torch. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of selling here, and I think that's just the silicon oil coming to the top. These are going to need a severe wipe, so something to note when you do this, whether you're covering, covering them in varnish or resin, and this applies especially to resin, is if you are going to um, pour the resin on top, you need to clean off your canvas because the resin will not adhere to the silicon oil. So that's one thing to note, that when, that when these are dry, you need to give them a good old wash before you pour any resin or varnish on top of them but I think that looks nice so let's time lapse through the rest of them and then we'll see what they look like once they're done and then we'll wait till they dry I'm really pleased with them actually, I think they look nice. As you can see in this one, I had to add a little bit of blue in there because it just wasn't blue enough. Um, but I'm hoping, like I say, that metallic look will really come across once they are dry. But I think it's quite nice actually and um, I'm not displeased with them. So we will catch up once they are dry and see how they are fared. Righty ho, I'm going to start off with them off camera because they have changed quite a lot since they were poured now there are they are pretty beautiful i really like them and um, but they have changed so i thought i'll show you them one at a time so here's the first one as you can see pretty much all of it is metallic because of all those metallic colors we added with this nice hint of blue and i think there's just the right amount of blue to hit those metallic colors um and a nice little bit of selling here which is lovely and here this white rimming around the selling is really really nice there so that's the first one We've then got this one, which is a little less um, equal. It's like almost in stripes, but don't you think this looks like the sand, the sea, and then this is like the sea foam washing up onto the beach. I think that looks really beautiful. Um, really nice. We've got a lot of air bubbles to fill with varnish. Um, but it should be quite nice. So let's put those there. And then this one is a little he less heavy on the gold. Um, and a little heavier on the blue, but the selling here is really lovely. Really nice, really, really nice um, metallic look and sheen to that. These are very much nicer in person. I'm noticing it's not showing up quite as nicely on the camera, but we move. Um, and then finally, there's this one, which actually looks a little bit messy. It's like it's almost pooled here a little bit. So I don't know whether my stand was a little bit uneven, but there is still that really nice even um, mix of the, the metallics and the blue there and in fact that blue has mixed quite a lot with this silver and we've got a really nice metallic -y blue going through there um, and it just looks really really nice I'm pleased with that so I'm going to go and varnish them which I'll show a little bit of my time lapse process of that and add on some cork backing and see what they look like at the end and I'll show you the final result
after all of the pouring, the drying, the varnishing and adding the pads as a final touch we have the finished coasters. I'm really happy with the colours that came out on these. I think this blue mixing with the metallics is really lovely and we've got some beautiful little cells in there with all the colours kind of ringing in those cells and the varnish has really added this lovely gloss over there and it's all heat proof. Um, so perfect for hot drinks and then finishing off with these cork backings is absolutely lovely I love that you get this little edge and a little snippet as to the runoff of the colour and I just think it looks really smart, really neat um, and perfect, I'm really pleased with them um, the colour ranges in each coaster is lovely some of them are more heavy on the blue like this one which is quite nice and then some of them are a little more heavy on the metallics um, and I just think that's just just is what makes the acrylic pour really really unique and lovely and I, I really think that someone will love these coasters and hopefully um, we'll sit in someone's home at some point so um, that's the end of this video please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, leave me a comment down below um, about the colours do you like them do you think I should have added a different colour instead of the blue to accent the metallics um, let me know your thoughts down below and subscribe if you want to see more and you're new here as I post videos every Monday and Friday, Friday being a vlog, Monday usually an art video and I do a hell of a lot more than just acrylic pourings but if you do want to see more of these I do post these often as well so I hope to see you soon and thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.